If all your camera gear can't fit in this, don't worry, it's got more. And even more. So let's check it out. Now this is the North Face 90s Extreme Windsuit and it's literally fire. So you can't tell me this fit ain't lit. Anyways, we're here to talk about camera bags though, specifically the PGY Tech One Mo backpack. When fully expanded, you've got a whopping 30 liters. And with the expandable pouch, you're getting another five liters for your gear you want extra padded. But with the built-in loops, it can even be attached to the bag fanny pack style, allowing you even quicker access than before. Once tightened in, this is actually usable when walking around and being run and gun. And thanks to the whole package being tight to the body, it is possible to make a quick getaway as well. Grabbing your gear is one zip away, then store Storing it back is just as fast without having to actually take your bag off. The expanded portion also makes a perfect spot to fit a Nintendo Switch, along with a perfect snack for when you're tired of poning noobs on Tetris. And it doesn't even end there. The shoulder straps are a league of their own, with the right side offering two large elastic loops, perfect to hold a lens cap while you're taking the same tourist photo as 20 other people around you. Then the left side has a hidden zippered pouch, great for cards, cash, or you know, another snack pocket. The shoulder straps themselves are fairly thick and padded, great if you're really going ham on the gear, you can strap in the chest strap, tighten the load lifters, and this bag hugs you so tightly, you'll almost forget how lonely you are. And <clears throat> I mean, with the amount of padding on the backside, I'm not surprised it's one of the comfier bags I've tested when fully loaded up. And it ain't even over as there's two hidden pockets here too. They're fairly flat, but perfect to hide travel documents or this Bellroy travel folio. Made of some fine tan leather, it's designed to securely store your passport, but also any other travel related notes, cash, or cards. A tiny pen is also built in, you'll probably be used to using, and there's plenty of pocketing for larger or smaller sized items as well. Yes, another pricey piece, but once you start traveling again, keeping everything organized in one place means you've got one less problem to worry about. And for the bag's last trick, those back pockets are meant to keep your straps from flying around when storing your bag away. Honestly, something I wish all bags had so they don't constantly get caught on anything and everything that sticks out of a wall. Plus with the padded back hand strap, you've got the option to carry a duffel style too, but you've also got your standard top and side handles as well if you're boring like that. It's not the largest camera bag out there, but by no means is it small or minimal. It does offer plenty of functionality to meet any type of creator though, mainly thanks to how quick you can get in and out of this bag, all thanks to the direct pocket access to grab and go, bing bang boom. And finally, if you really hoard every battery, lens, and cable with you, wabam, go ahead, have another five liters of storage. And really, that's the highlight of the bag. You get more for less. If that doesn't excite you, well, y'all aren't the hoarders I thought you were. Plus, when fully loaded, the tapered design actually keeps things from dragging the whole bag down, so it's still fairly manageable on your back. Taking a look inside that expansion pocket though, it's fairly simple. A large dump pocket that I recommend you keep loaded lightly, like a jacket that utilizes the odd shape perfectly. And thanks to this single large elastic, having your laptop out front for instant access is super convenient as well. That's part about it though, if you don't need that extra space, zip it away and alakazam. It's like it doesn't even exist. Speaking of zippers though, because this is only for the expansion zipper, it's semi-sealed, while the rest of the pockets where gear is actually stored is fully water sealed. Combine that with the nylon-like exterior material around the whole exterior and this textured hardened sheet on the bottom, I fully trust this bag to be water resistant. And yeah, sure, slow-mo water bottle shots are cool and all and the bag can handle rain just fine, but let's get serious. Damn, still just as crispy, as even the smaller pockets are fitted with the water sealed zippers, a much appreciated detail. Now, if you're really into getting wet or doing wet things, they do include a rain cover as well, which is great because I find it doubles perfectly as an emergency umbrella as well. A perfect waterproof backup that has its own dedicated pocket on the bottom so you're not getting anything else wet in the process. And yes, in case that wasn't obvious, that is a pocket on the bottom of the bag. Oh, and that rough looking material is as tough as it looks as well. Combine that with the thick nylon body everywhere else and it's the ideal combo for creators who would do anything to get the shot and not let being careful with their gear get in the way. You can drop, drag, slide, or toss it to a friend. The bag can take a beating. Then simply wipe the dirt away and get on with your next shot. It's the small details like the reinforced stitching which visually shows you how durable the bag is built. So yeah, it's a bag that passes my durability test with flying colors. Taking a look at the other pockets, on one side there's a quick access flap for smaller quick access things. An expandable mesh pocket 
pocket, great for keys, cash, or some AirPods. A zipper pocket, although tight, it adds an extra level of security for some change or your daily essentials. And some elastic loops under that because why not with all that space? Under that pocket, continuing with the theme of expanding, the water bottle pocket is about as deep as my full hand. It offers quite a bit of stretch that can even fit a Nalgene securely. And when emptied, it sits flat and the pocket basically disappears, keeping that clean, boxy aesthetic vibe. Moving into the main pocket, obviously covered with a large water sealed zipper, the large pocket is designed, well, by you. You've got full control to adjust the Velcro dividers to fit your gear, along with a dedicated portion that fits the included removable pouch perfectly because of these pockets, allowing you direct access to each half for quick retrieval of your gear, but it doesn't end there because you can attach the included shoulder strap and ditch the whole backpack for a day with just the essentials. No pants pockets, no worries. Unzip and wha bam, almost doubling in size, although not padded whatsoever on the top section, there's plenty of room to fit your phone, AirPods, and a few other accessories on the go. Or if you're really hungry on a hike or just out and about, it's great as a mini lunchbox too. In use, it offers the same simplicity to grab your gear on a whim, whether it be to capture the shot or quickly set up the drone. The pouch alone offers plenty of function in a much smaller package. Finally, the whole back panel is dedicated to your laptop or tablet, and don't worry, it is lifted on the bottom. And so basically, that's all the pockets. So let's fill her up. Starting with my full video gear loadout, obviously because it's a camera bag after all. First, the main camera. I've got the Sony a6500 with the battery grip, which was my main shooter for a long, long time. Under the floppy dividers, I've got an old but goodie, the Sony RX105 that I solely use for its super slow-mo that goes up to 960 frames per second in this tiny compact body. And if you do stumble upon a RX100 series, I highly recommend adding the LensMate filter adapter on the front, giving you a 52 millimeter thread for whatever filter you please. My main audio recorder is beside that, the Tascam DR05 with a Rode Lab. This is the combo I use in any shot you see me speaking to the camera. Then there's my Rode Wireless Go Pack for any wireless audio directly into the camera. A camera wireless controller is a must to trigger my slow-mo recordings perfectly without running back and forth. For additional lenses, although the bag is padded, I generally double bag. This is the Matador lens base layer, which to put simply is a sleeping bag, but for your lens. Beside that is the Rode Video Micro, my all-time favorite on-camera mic for how simple it is while offering way better sound than the in-camera mics do. Probably the first upgrade I'd recommend to anyone. There's the Lytra Pro LED light that outputs 1200 lumens, it's waterproof, and it's built like a tank in a palm-sized package, a small Muji case that fits SD cards perfectly, and my second most used camera, the GoPro Hero 8 in a media mod case. But more importantly, paired with my all-time favorite mount, the bite mount. Yes, it goes in your mouth. Basically, any POV shot you've seen from me is done with this combo alone. Then this is a new addition. The Dream Pick Quist is an 8-in-1 GoPro attachment. The main ones being the carabiner hook attachment, a screw tightener, a stand, built-in tripod legs, and extra micro SD storage space. It's really got it all. Now the bag dividers they use are hard backed but offer quite a bit of bend so they can easily squeeze your gear within them. The folding shelf design isn't new but definitely a useful addition for dividing smaller gear and there's even really short dividers that are perfect for filter bags or anything relatively flat. Now below all that is where it gets even safer and inside it's just as soft and well organized like a baby version of the backpack. If you didn't like the sleeping bag design though, the Moth Magic Wrap is the next best thing. It uses what I believe is actual magic to stick onto itself, like Velcro, but much quieter. Basically adding a thick layer of microfiber skin to whatever you store inside. The beauty with the Magic Wrap is you're not restricted to lenses. It fits anything you want covered up and scratch free. Next up, the Insta360 ONE R is new and complimentary to my GoPro, simply because it can do 360 degree video in the this tiny package, but bing bang boom, it transforms instantly to a full-fledged action camera as well, with yes, the option for a front-facing screen. Then for more folding divider goodness, a tiny lens under that. Beside that, something completely new to me that I'm still learning to fly smoothly, my DJI Mavic Mini Drone. I've attached on the PGY Tech extended landing gear legs, which I prefer over others thanks to not having to detach them when folded up, but these two combined, you can get some pretty rad bird's eye view shots. Now that's the pouch, it fits about three handfuls with plenty of adjustability 
thanks to their folding dividers as well. The one mo is designed to keep all your gear secure while not getting in the way of getting the perfect shot, no matter where your gear is stored inside of it. But it also doubles as an easy way to grab your jacket in case it rains or an extra pair of underwear in case it rains down under. And yeah, a quick and easy snack compartment as well. And just because the pocket perfectly fits the pouch, don't let that limit your imagination. In the end, it's just a big empty space you've got instant access to. Great for, say, a second larger snack pocket. Who's to say this can't just be a huge lunchbox? Now, serious snacks aside, the pocket cover themselves are pretty handy too. Like this battery organizer with indicator switches to easily tell when a battery is ready to go or DOA. Don't worry, the switches do stay in place no matter how hard you shake the bag through my scientific shake test. And if you're wondering, these battery pouches do fit a max of a Sony MPF 550. Moving along, the laptop pocket fits up to a 16-inch MacBook Pro, and if it wasn't obvious enough, yes, I do like double bagging all my gear. Safety first, kids. In this case, with a much larger Moth Magic Wrap, it slides in like butter on hot toast. This Aladdin carpet-like cloth is seriously magic, as it securely holds in a MacBook as well. Which, by the way, is obviously fully skinned up with some D-brand goodness. This is the Black Matrix finish, which has a slight texture and will make you feel like you're Neo when using this. Now, of course, I don't expect you all to carry five cameras around with you. Most of you just make vertical dance videos anyways. So for a more lighter and versatile setup, I utilize an iPad Pro 11 inch as my main piece of tech, this time protected inside the newly released Nomad Goods rugged folio case. Yeah, I know it cost a pretty penny, but for anyone that can appreciate leather, you'll understand with how much Horween leather is used on this case, it's worth every pretty penny you've got. Combine that with the rugged case design, your iPad is protected while looking fly AF. For a travel load, you can ditch the dividers and stuff a weekend's worth of clothes above instead, along with a snack and accessories like these Ombra sunglasses, which don't have any arms on them. Instead, they wrap around your head like goggles and tighten with a pull. That may sound odd, but is probably the only pair of sunglasses that'll never fall off your face. They're also pretty durable too because of that. Next up, this is the last travel charger you'll ever need. The Zendor Passport 2 is about the size of a MacBook charger. It offers universal plugs with auto resetting fuses so you can stay charged no matter where you go. But the real benefit is the 61 watt USB-C PD plug built right inside of it. Along with the four other ports, you won't need to carry any other charger with you. This is a must have once you get to start traveling the world again. Now remember that pocket down under? I double whammy it as a shoe pocket, fitting the A7 Soul Go slippers inside. These were designed for official weightlifting competitors, but they also just make super comfortable backup shoes thanks to the stretchy polyester uppers with a full grippy rubber bottom. Combined with the Velcro for quick and easy adjustments, it's perfect for use in a hotel room, by the pool, or even to actually use as shoes out and about. The fact they store flatter than pancakes makes it a no-brainer to have just in case. So although the bag is designed for cameras, it can really be transformed for whatever you need to carry around. Let me know what you think of the bag in the comments down below, but that's it. I rest my bag?